Wine is so interesting. You don't even have to speak the same language. You bring a bottle of wine, a hunk of cheese, and a piece of bread, everybody becomes friend. I want wines that people will walk away and say, wow, that was truly remarkable. Really cool in the Midwest in Wisconsin, and helping to promote this industry that's just growing and becoming better and better. Um, we're proud to be part of that. I would love for people to really experience that Napa-style winery, but in local Wisconsin. Wisconsin and winemaking. You might not think the two go hand in hand, but years of selection, cultivation, and hybridization of grape varieties have led to a booming Wisconsin wine scene. And today, we're visiting four that we've deemed iconic. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. C'est la vie, je ne sais quoi. Oh, hey, I was just talking to my friend Louis here. He wanted you to know that contrary to appearances, we are not actually in 19th century France. This stunning place is the Chateau St. Croix Winery located in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. Yes, this place is in Wisconsin. Let's go check it out, shall we? Come on, Louis. My first impression of Chateau St. Croix Winery is that they do everything so big here. I mean, you're walking into an actual castle. It's gorgeous. Hi, I'm Irv Geary, co-owner and winemaker here at the Chateau St. Croix Winery in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. About two thirds of what we produce here is locally grown. We make almost everything right here on site one thing that does set the Chateau apart from other wineries is we do produce quite a bit of port and um, have won numerous, numerous gold medals for our ports. Herb showed me how you steal wine and he has this contraption called Wine Thief where you actually can get the wine straight out of the barrel. All right, well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, is there a procedure that you take when you... Yes, yeah, so when we're going to taste the wine, um, we don't just slam it back. Oh, okay. um, we usually give it a good swirl in the glass. How's this swirl? Um, it's okay. <laughs> okay, We'll rude. work on that. So then you want to smell the wine. And then when we taste the wine, we usually like to aerate it on our palate a little bit. And I lightly pucker up and gently, it's very gently, inhale through your mouth and it aerates the wine on your palate. And they call it slurping. I can't get that. Well, it's best if you practice with water. I need to practice. You need to practice with water. We don't sell wine, we sell an experience. James Peterson, our tasting room manager, he's really a big part of that. He gives people such a great experience when they come here, keeps people coming back year in and year out. James, thank you so much for having me. Gotta say, you have a pretty sweet gig here. Uh, yeah, I get to work in the castle and talk about <laughs> wine all day long. It's not exactly a struggle to get out of bed every morning coming here. All right, well, I'm thirsty for some wine. Sure. Should we start? Yeah, what well, I would love to start off with is our cheese head white. Oh, right. cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh yeah, the swirl first. Yes, okay. so, yeah. I was learning about the swirl from Irv, so. Yes. Well, how would you rate my swirl? It's pretty good. Thank yeah. you. That's what I'm talking about. You're right? Mmm. <laughs> That's very good. This is our number one selling wine okay. uh, in house here. This is a Wild River Rose. This has one of my favorite aromatics of any of the wines in our lineup. Uh, to me, this is like watermelon uh, Jolly Rancher, mm. is what I smell. All right, rose all day. Rose all day. I absolutely love the high quality reds that they have here. And I think the coolest part is that these red wines are made in Wisconsin. They are made locally. We discovered early on that it's all about the events. I think we have a total of about 25 events every year from spring to fall. We also do a fair amount of weddings. At the end of the day, when people tell me this is wonderful wine and I had such a great experience and we can't wait to come back, then we know we did it right. I think the Chateau St. Croix Winery is iconic because have you walked into a castle in Wisconsin? Have you? 
<laughs> I don't think so. I have now. There's music playing in the backyard. You have a crowd of people all enjoying the best wines, laughing, dancing, and having just a lovely time here. I think that's what really makes Chateau St. Croix Winery stand out. Binge all of the Discover Wisconsin episodes from this season on the Discover Wisconsin YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.